Hello, hello team fam. I am Lori Lean. Turn this around. And happy Monday. Happy Monday, you guys. And it is the Monday after Thanksgiving. Oh, I hope that you are here. And I hope that I hope that you are here with so many things to be grateful for. Hello, you guys. So many things to be grateful for. So many things to be thankful for because you opened up your eyes today. And I think that that is a great enough reason to be thankful and grateful. I'll wave at you guys later because every Monday we jump on, we jump on to give each other motivating boosts so we can get leaner and healthier in a easier way. Because I know when I'm motivated or get motivated or inspired, it's easier for me to do the things that may not be so easy for me to do. What, Lori? What are you talking about? Working out is it easy for you? Yes, it is easy for me because I think it is. I think it is. Even the things that are challenging for me, I have to think that they're easy because honestly, if I think that they're hard, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> So as I do more of whatever that is, that is the challenge, then the more I do it, then the easier it'll get, the easier it'll get. So <clears throat> today is the last day for the 100 squats, 100 a, squats a day challenge. And I set up that challenge over a month ago and then <clears throat> I said the Monday after Thanksgiving, and this is December. I wanted to start a new challenge today. A new challenge, well, I will start a new challenge today. However, if you didn't get in your 100 squats today, then do that, do that, do that. Because you know what? The more that you do, whatever it is, the easier it will be to do that. I already said that, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Somebody said, Lori, 100 squats a day, that's a lot. Um, it depends on who you're talking to. So I've done challenges where it built up to 100 squats a day and more. So I just started with 100 squats a day because when I did 100 squats, then it was easy towards the end. Um, and then so it took me like three minutes to do 100 squats. Not gonna lie, I've been on the go, on the go jam pack, and I have not done my 100 squats today. Just took me three minutes. What can you do in three minutes? If you can't do 100 squats, can you do something in three minutes? Can you do as many squats as you possibly can in three minutes? Then if you haven't done it today, then just do your best. Start there. If you didn't do it, if you didn't do the challenge with me, then that's okay. You could do challenges on your own. All you have to do is just tell someone. Tell someone. And hopefully the one person that you do or the people that you do tell somebody, I can guarantee you, somebody is going to be motivated enough, especially if it's something positive that would benefit them as well as them doing it, as well as you doing it as well. I guarantee you, if they have a positive mindset, if they're also looking to get some goals made, then they will do it with you. So if you came up to me and said, hey Lori, can you do 100 squats with me? I would, I would because I'm like, hey, what the heck? Especially if I hadn't gotten any movement in for that day, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it together. And if we need to take a break, then we'll just take a little break and jump right back in and we'll get started to con and we'll continue on it. I'm not talking about an hour break while you're doing your squat challenge. <laughs> like 10 seconds or so to get a breather, to grab a drink of water or, or some hydration product, then, you know, or hydrate, then, you know, jump right back in after a little swig of that and you'll quickly and much more easily get to your end goal of 100 squats a lot easier, a lot faster once you have a partner. So if you haven't done a 100 squats challenge, then see, it took me about three minutes when I did it live. If you want to scroll through my post, then you can see how long it took me to do the squat challenge. I thought it was going to, honestly, I thought the very first time it was going to take me six minutes. It only took me like 
three minutes and I was so surprised. So you can do your squats along with me at your own accord, at your own risk, and you can get it done. You can press pause when you need to take a little break, break and get right back into it because I don't think I don't think I took a look. I don't think I took a break. I just kept on going. <laughs> they got slower towards the end, I'm sure. However, I just kept on going. So nonetheless, happy Monday. That was a little side note. I'm so grateful. I hope you had a really great holiday weekend. I did. So grateful for being with my family, which is why I have the topic of the day. It is your job. It's your job. It's your job. Remember what I just said, it's your job. What are you talking about, Lori? It's your job. It is you are your job. Your goals that you wanna accomplish is your job. Your workout is your job. I know sometimes uh, us overachievers, we wanna delegate as many tasks as possible onto someone else that we possibly can. However, there's some things you have to do yourself, and that is your workout. There's some things that you have to do yourself, not just your workouts, that's your mental thoughts, your positive attitude, your positive affirmations, your motivation, whatever you need to be in that positive, your prayer, your meditation, your whatever it is so you can be in that positive mind frame. There's things that you have to do, of course, not gonna lie, I wish I could say, hey Tosh, hey Tasha, would you do my 100 squats for me today? I really would appreciate you, Tasha, and just for her to say, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not thinking of anybody. If your name is Tasha, I'm not talking about you. However, if you haven't done your 100 squats, then please, if you'd like to do that or as many as you possibly can, because movement is everything. Movement is everything. And your job is you and your workout is you for you to move. That is your job. It is your job. I don't know about you, but my parents had, my family had a little saying that all you got is one thing to do, is to go to school, get good, well, a couple of things, a couple of things. But it is your job. It is your job to get good grades, to go to school. That was our job. You know, so that was only one thing. And then when things went away, it's like, you only have one thing to do? You know, one, have one thing to do? And I have all these things to do. <laughs> so that makes it sound so simple when you have one thing and it is your job. So your job is you. Your job is you. So what kind of you do you want to see yourself being? What kind of you do you want to see yourself being? That is your job. So yes, you're going to have to put in the work. Yes, it might not be fun sometimes, but yes, you will see all the work that you put in, all the benefits of that work that you have. I just come, I put in the work. I put in the work. I'm not just saying it for you. Yes, I'm a certified personal trainer. I say this every week so that you will know that I'm not just talking the things that I'm talking because I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. There's some people that do that with no certifications to back, with no education to back. But I'm not denouncing whatever they say, that they are committed and they have a great intensity to help others. I'm not saying that. However, that is backing me so that I could share with you. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but also, I do it because I'm responsible for myself and I'm my job. I'm my, my job is me. My job is me. So when I do have goals that I set out for myself, like I recently competed in fitness in my Fitness America competition that was in California, and I am the champion of myself. <laughs> I'm always the champion. I got a first runner up, and first runner up. So there was a person that was voted as the top spot according to the judges. However, when I am seeing whole shows, I tell people, when you do set yourself on the stage, you are the champion. No, you're not gonna let, I'm not gonna let any judge say that I'm not the top spot because I'm the top spot for myself. So I said that because yes, I motivate and inspire others to reach their top spot, their top spot. And I'm not stopping. 
for me. Yes, I am Miss Bikini America Champion Pro. However, I will reach it to be a two-time champion. That's the goal of mine. And also a Fitness Universe Champion spot. That's the goal of mine as well. However, I'm the champion of me. And I reach my goals the best way that I possibly can. And am I gonna let it stop me if I'm not voted the champion by someone else? No, no, I'm not. Because I am the champion of myself and I feel so ever proud to set the goal, prepare, plan, and reach the goal of completing the task needed to show myself on stage of all the work that I put in. And I'm so incredibly proud of myself. No matter what they judge me as, I, I'm happy because I finished. I'm a finisher. So you, it's your job. You are your job. So be responsible. Reach, plan, prepare, reach your goals that you set out to do. And it's your job. It's your job. It's like a never ending list of homework tasks that will improve yourself along the way. We all know that working out has so many psychological, physiological benefits without said, without said. However, however, it is so beneficial when you do work at you because for the things that we come across with our adult life, our adult life, and sometimes people may not have a pretty picture to paint. Sometimes things may not go as you planned or prepare. So what are you going to do? A workout. Uh, and I'm laughing because uh, my life sometimes um, is adapting. Is adapting. So with a great workout and workouts that build upon each other, meaning that they never stop, you have to build, or at least me, when I work out one day and then don't do anything else for the rest of the month, it's not going to really affect. So if somebody looks at me the wrong way, I might cry. I might lash out at them, or I'm just giving you an example. However, if you have, meaning me, have workouts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every single day, then what I do if that same person looks at me the wrong way, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not going to lash out at them, I'm not gonna, these are just the examples of coping and managing stress and working out is a great way to do that. So your job is you, it's your job. I can't ask Tasha, hey Tasha, can you get in my workout today and make sure you have the 25 burpees like I want to uh, do and chest to the floor this time. Tasha's gonna be like, uh, you do your own burpees. <laughs> If she was a real person. So your workout is you. My workout is me. My job is me. Your job is you. So think about that. The holidays are coming up. I just came off of a great competition prep and I'm so proud. I am so proud of how I looked on stage. I will post pictures. I will post pictures. Um, when I have time. Um, I'll try my best to do that. However, if you do want help, here's the holidays. It's never ending. It's the end of the year and the holidays from October just continues on. But I can help. I can help. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great to just jumpstart your New Year's prep with the holidays? Just asking. Your job is you. How are you going to be? Are you going to be better for the next year? I hope so. I hope so. I've never met anyone that says, hey, Lori, I, I don't want to be as good as it was last year. You know, I, I don't want to be as good as I was yesterday. I've never met anybody that, and if you met somebody like that, then you know, I don't know. I probably wouldn't be their friend because I hang around people that motivate, are positive for, for me and up level, help me to up level myself, whether they are doing that directly or whether I'm seeing something in them that's like, oh, 
yeah, they're really good at that thing. I am going to visualize myself doing that thing that they're good at if I want to do it. And that'll give me inspiration to continue working at that thing as a little motivation for me. So I don't know, that's how I am. I love the hanging around people that are positive for me and up-level me in some kind of way. And whether that is with just life or with workouts. So if you need a little uplifter, up-leveler with your workouts or, it, or you know, see me helping you with anything, then just let me know. I am here for you. Just direct message me because I got options. And I am so good. I am so good. I'm just tuning my horn for a, a little bit because everything I may not have all the answers to. Yes, even looking it up on the internet. So right away. So I am connected with a wealth of people that are willing to help too. So the options are endless. If you want help in a certain thing that I might not be an expert at, I'm also a connector. So just direct message me, that's off topic. Um, but remember, Remember, no matter what, it's the end of the year. Focus on you because you are responsible for you. It's your job. You are your job. Your job is you. <laughs> so if you are not working for you, then you got a lot of work to do and I can help you start. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm Lori Lean. I went over my time. However, I am so happy and so uh, grateful and thankful for everyone that chimed in. <gasps> Hello, Joseph. I see that. I don't know why I said it like that, even after work. I will uh, wave at you guys as quickly as I possibly can because I appreciate you for coming on. And if you have any questions, then just let me know. I'm here for you. I am here for you. Let's see. Yay. Okay, well, you guys, have an awesome Monday. Have an awesome week. And do your 100 squats. Oh, what? Direct message me or comment below this post to let me know if you have done your 100 squats today or the number of squats that you would like to do, comment done or give me a thumbs up. And then also direct message me or comment below what you would like the next challenge to be. I'm gonna do burpees, okay? I plan on doing burpees. I plan on doing 25 burpees a day for a month. How does that sound? If you're with me, do a thumbs up, say burpees, thumbs up, or burpees and your number that you would like to do uh, a day, okay? Comment that below this post, in the comments of this post, okay? Alrighty, you guys, well, I love you dearly, I appreciate you, and remember, it is your job. You are responsible for you. <laughs> and that should be so many great things for you to understand and know. Um, so I got you back. I got you back. I'm Lori Lean. And see you guys. Love you guys. And Lori Lean is.